<laughs> Hi, welcome back to the video with so many friends. Today we're eating how Jackie Robinson changed America promises to keep. Bye. By Sharon Robinson, his only daughter. Okay. A black and white world. My great grandparents were slaves. My grandmother was, although it may was born into a segregated world, although it may be hard for you to imagine an America where black and white people were, were kept apart by laws and customs. That world existed. My father helped change it by breaking the color barrier in, in Mayor, Major, Major League Baseball. My father helped break down the radical segregation. Bef before we get into the story of Jackie Robinson, However, we need to understand how segregation became a way of life in the United States. The story of race relationships in the United States be begins more than 400 years ago, where African men, women, and children were enslaved and forced forcibly brought to American colonies. The Civil, the Civil War ended this terrible Inhumane. Inhumane practice. By 1870, there were approximately 4 million, million African Americans in, in the United States who, because of the 13th and 14th Amendments, amendments and to the Constitution, Constitution, were now U.S. citizens as freedom and woman. Some former slaves attended school for the first time, farmed in a system called sharecropping, voted and held local, state, and federal offices. But the new, for the new freedoms granted to African Americans were unacceptable to, to many Southern whites who were used to being in control. These Southerners used Political, legal, and Political. violent means to control of blacks. They they passed they passed eight laws to re restrict. restrict the rights of blacks and and to keep them from voting. Even the, the court denied. the courts denied blacks opportunities at basic human rights. M P C V Vigman versus Ferguson. 1896, the U.S. Supreme, Supreme Court, Court held up, upheld, upheld a state right to pass radical segregation laws. The Supreme Court's ruling said that such laws did not vulnerate the U.S. Constitution. Then the nation was divided, those, fa favoring. those favoring segregation against those who, who opposed it. The period of the legal segregation in America is commonly feared to Deferred. refer to Jim Crow era. era. In in eighteen in the eighteen thirties, Thomas Rice, a famous white musical entertainer in Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore. Cre created a fictional character based on based on a black singer. Rice called his daughter Jim Crow. White audiences laughed at the clowning and foolish antics of this character. Black people found the the performance demeaning. The performances demeaning. They began to use a ten, the term Jim Crow to mean discrimination. Discrimination. So black people did not like that. In signs of hope. In the Civil War, segregated worlds, black people and white people. Went, went to separate schools, ate separate restaurants, stayed in separate hotels, and sat in different sections on the trains and buses. In many places, they used different bathroom, bathrooms, telephone telephone Oops. booths, and water fountains. Black and whites, black and whites went to separate pool halls, auditoriums, and circuses. Many blacks were restricted signs from using from. From using parks, libraries, and hospitals that served white people, signs on public facilities, facilities. 
often red colored and whites in an effort to keep one race from coming in contact with another. The segregation was part of everyday life almost everywhere, especially in the South. My father was six months old in the summer of 1919, the red summer. African-American blood flowed as black people were assaulted and killed in race riots and lynchings. The, the radical tension, racial tension. Uh, racial tension escalated. escalated when Southern blacks moved north to work in jobs created by World War I. From 1915, to 1930, near, nearly 1. 5. Mil, 5 million black people migrated north to the rate of 1, 100,000 per year. Many of them settled in New York, Chicago, St. Louis, and Detroit. Detroit. The black families who fled the South during the a period hoped to find a better life and escape Jim Crow life. However, they they soon discovered that Jim, that Jim Crow traveled travel too. The rapid shift in population. in population caused overcrowding in many cities and increased resentment. resentment from many white workers who were now forced to work alongside blacks. Molly Robinson. Molly Ro Robinson, my grandfather. Grandmother. <laughs> was one of, of the early part, pioneering migrants. migrants. She lived on a farm in Carrigo, Georgia in 1990. 19. 19. With her husband, Jerry, and their five children. They were sharecroppers, which meant they had farmed in a section of land owned by whites for the share of the profit, profit from the crops. This system kept black sharecroppers like my grandparents from getting ahead. Sharecroppers didn't own their own farms. They had to buy all their seeds, food, and equipment on credit from the white landowners. Land At the end of the year, the black farmer had to had to give the white land landowner up to one to one half of his crop and repay all the credit. And black farmers ended with a very little and often owned money to the white owner mm -hmm. with with very little owns wait after dealing with frustrations of sharecropping jerry robinson gave up and deserted the family molly couldn't maintain the farm on her own but my grandmother was determined was determined woman and in flocks of faith in god she she packed up her children the children, Frank, Mac, Eager, Edgar, Edgar, w Willa mm. May, and Jackie, and took a huge risk. Now and her family left only, only, only life they've ever known. Traveled by train in, in Pasadena, 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 California. There, they lived with her brother, and so Molly found a work a workplace for her family to live. My grandmother worked long hours cleaning and cooking in the homes of white families. Meanwhile, she insisted her children to keep up their grades, work after school, and, and attended church every Sunday. The children learned early to protect each other. For a couple of years, my dad's sister, Willa Mace, took my father to school with her. Dad played along in sandbox outside her classroom until the kids came out for recess. As a boy, Dad went to the Cleveland and Washington Elementary School in Pasadena. Pasadena. The students were black. The teacher was was were white. My father only got got average grades debates, but he loved sports. With marble soccer, dodgeball, marble's not a sport, and baseball, Dad's. Dad, dad's reputation. reputation as a competitor and a winner began when he was just a young boy. Pasadena was a pretty city with lots of parks and parks and other public and show fam facilities. facilities. My recreational facilities. My dad couldn't go in most of them. The local mm. YMCA refused my father membership because he was black. 
the Pasadena's movie movie houses. He went for to force black people to sit to sit in one section. The local soda fountain would wouldn't serve the black kids. Pasadena was ju- uh, ju- divided. Uh, was divided into neighborhoods according to the to race. Their boundaries were clearly drawn. Blacks lived on on only certain parts of town. That didn't stop my grandmother, Molly, and her sister, and both in law, brother-in-law, Cor- Coral and Samuel Wade, raised enough money to buy a house. They they ignored the racial boundaries and settled a house in at. One, one, twenty one Pepper Street. The house that they wanted happened to be all white in an all white neighborhood. According to family stories, my grandmother knew that the owners wouldn't sell their home to a black family. Mally got hot. We got a light skinned niece who who would pass for whites. She purchased the Pepper Street's house for them. After the the closing, the Robinson and Wade families moved in together. The the neighbors weren't exactly welcoming. My father were was three years old when his family moved into Pepper Street. When he was eight, Dad got a name calling fight with a little white girl who lived across the street. The children's their ball battle it was interrupted when the girl's father came outside and started throwing rocks at my father. Father. There were other incidents like that meant to imitate my grandmother from moving. Intimidate. To imitate my grandmother. Intimidate. Intimidate for my grandmother to into moving off Pepper Street. A cross was burned off their front lawn. But in spite of the pressure from my neighbors, my grandmother refused to leave Pepper Street. Over time, the block became mixed with Families from black, white, Asian, and Hispanic, Hispanic backgrounds. backgrounds. Wow. While my father fought relatively small battles against racism in Pasadena, African American leaders across the country took struggle, got struggle to a new level. They waged battle, battle in courts, the newspapers, and the street. They supported education. Demonstrations. Yeah, education and economy at equality. Black e- leaders. Economic equity. And, and activists, activists. Such as our Ida B. positions and offer different solutions to problems. Ida B. A- Wells, Booker T. Washington, and W. E. B. By by the 1920s, the, there were visible signs of hope and progress. Black owned, operated newspapers like the like the Chicago Defender and Pittsburgh Courier, Boston Boston's The Garden, The, the Guardian, Guardian, The Comedy Magazine, Magazine, formerly known, known as N- Narago Digest, that. N- Nightcaps Monthly Double A Magazine Magazine The The Citrus and the Equality The Crisis Neon and the Press. Associated Negro Press Trang up to tell the story of the race, racial project and the courage of an assist resonance movements. There were also small but growing professional class of African Americans who taught in school, worked in hospitals and nurses as nurses and doctors, practiced the law, and owning and owning and owned businesses, the Harlem residents named after New York's vibrant black neighborhood. Harlem brought forth great African American writers, artists and musicians, just like Jacob Lawrence, writers like Langston Hughes, Claude McCade, Clarence, 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 and Zero Niece Hurts. Jazz musicians like Louis Armstrong and and Duke Ellington, performers Ellington. like sing actor Ar- 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 Paul R- R- Robeson, 
and dancer Bill Bongles Robinson all rose of the new heights of fame and popularity through the Harlem residence renaissance. The glory. Oh yeah, this is to 64 pages. You're doing great, honey. This is supposed to be a picture book. It is, lots of great pictures. Black and white pictures. Oh no, that's not. It's a reunion, it looks like a family reunion. The end. The glory of Harlem residence was short-lived in 1929. It was replaced by a deep economic depression. Dad was in junior high at the time. He helped his family out by, uh, by taking an, on odd jobs like delivering newspapers, cutting the neighbor's grass, and selling hot dogs during football games at Patterson Rose Bowl. And he included the problems associated with being poor and fatherless. When he was a teenager, Dad and his fans formed a Pepper Street gang. They did it. They didn't use drugs, drink alcohol, or shorts, or start fights. But they did throw clumps of dirt at passing cars, swipe off golf golf balls, and sell them back to the golfers and steal fruits from the local grocers. Grocers. Several key factors helped my dad avoid serious trouble. The first the first and most important of his foundation to his mother and, and values, she worked hard to insist him. The second, the, the second was his love of athletics. Most dads' energy went into playing sports. In 1935, he was a, a star high school football quarterback in Murtek, where he also, he also played baseball, basketball, tennis, and held records in track. Dad old, uh, dad's older brothers were another big influence, influence on him. He he rarely looked up to Eager, Frank, and Mac. Dad didn't always understand Eager's odd behavior, but he admired his love of speed. Eager's feet on 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 roller skates on and his bicycle were red, legendary. It was it was said that Eager that Eager could outrace the bus from Pasadena to Santa Monica, a thirty mile trip. Frank was my dad's favorite brother, but Mac became his idol. When dad was 13, he watched with, with Price as Mac, as Mac became his idol. When dad was 13, he watched, he watched the Price as Mac won a place on the U.S. Olympic track and field team. Mac was, was, was went to Berlin, Germany for the, 1936 Olympic Games. Dad listened to all the track meets on the radio. The U.S. Really, really, really? relay team met up on, on African American athletes. G's owned Uncle Knack, Ralph, and Melt Calf, John, Johnny Wood, Ruff, and then Colinus Cornelius. Cornelius Johnson won the gold medal. By the end of the Olympics, Owens had won four medals. Mack won won a silver in the two hundred meter dash. The the nineteen thirty six U.S. Olympic relay team's victory was more than a personal was more than a person athletic triumph. Athletic triumph in the team of one for humanity for the shattered Nazi letter, the Hilter's theory of 
and Adolf Hitler's theory of racial superiority. Superiority. Then asks, who rose to power in Germany in 1930s? Believe that select white people, known as Orange, were su superior to other races, including blacks and non Aryan whites. German leader Hilter stumbled, stumbled G's Owens by by refusing refusing to shake his hands at the Olympic medal award ceremony. But black American and freedom lo lovers everywhere celebrated his stunning victory over racism. The 1930s saw the, ri the rise of the Af African American okay. sports heroes, Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, was one of them. He admired athletes of the time. One June, on June twenty second, twenty second, nineteen thirty eight, the heavyweight champion faced Germany. Germany's Max Schmeling in the ring. Like like nineteen thirty six Olympics, more than sports records were writing on the outcome. Europe was on the verge of a second world war. Adolf Hilds, Hitler came gave Smilding his idea of idle racially pure man a hero the hero's send off. Americans counted on Joe Lewis to bring them victory. The fight of the century was on. It, it was as if as a war had already been de declared. Lewis knocked out Seedlings in two minutes, four seconds in, in one round. Jo joyous Americans all over the country and blacks and whites celebrated in the streets, but but the party, but the victory, but the victory didn't last. For the next morning, America, America woke up and we're so separate and, and unequal. So Americans got together when they won against Germany, but then the next day they went back to being unequal. Why my father? In August 28, 1949, 45, my father, who was playing baseball for the Negro, Negro. Le Negro Leeds, Kansas C City Monarchs, met Brand Tricky to discuss, discuss playing for the Dodgers. There are so many reports. But a few eyewitnesses to the historic meeting, which took place at the branches Ricky Ricky's office in, Bo in Bo Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Ricky knew all about his father's economically athletic ability, and that he ex that he'd safely played on extraordinary athletic athletic ability. That he played on integrated teams in college. What did he, what he didn't know much about what kind of person my dad was so before ricky set up a face-to-face -face meeting he called out to call california to speak to speak with police who knew who knew my dad he learned that people who knew my dad he learned that dad had been raised by in a religious, religious home. home by a, by a mother whose family who values matched ricky's own he heard that that dad was a, was a serious guy who didn't drink. He also heard that dad was an aggressive competitor with a, with a fiery temper. Rick, Ricky must have liked dad's strong personality, but I'm sure he wondered how, how pressure would affect his playing. Nothing less, he, he sent his scouts. Clyde good for now with, with instructions to bring Jackie Robinson to Brooklyn. According to, to newspapers, magazines, books, and movies, Branch Ricky and my dad eyed each other cautiously during the warm of discussion. Ricky launched into a series of questions or that were a series less of questions. A series of questions that were less about baseball and more about character. Did he have a girl the Dodgers president would wanted to know? Dad looked Ricky straight in the eye and explained that 
that he was engaged and hoped to marry when he had a job. <laughs> Satisfied that my father would have a supportive partner, Ricky went on to talk about the, the need for my dad and to hold his anger, control his impulse to strike back and play and play extraordinary ball in spite of fear. My father listened carefully. He felt excited, scared, and thrilled of by, by the opportunity to play in the big leagues. Ricky jumped into mo a monologue. A monologue where he quickly shifted roles from that the of a racist fan. Uh, of the the racist fan to his spiteful teammates. He taunted my dad with an angry mean of mean assault. Insults. My my father leaned forward, hands fisted. Feet planted firmly on the floor. I can only imagine the thoughts he, that he must have run through his mind. This was more than, than just a chance to play in the majors. It was a chance to average racism of his body, boyhood to help right injustice. Ricky was offering my father terrific opportunity and, mem and tremendous responsibilities. Responsibility. Dad was prepared athletically. Athletically, he had the support of a loving woman and a steadfast mother. Mother, he 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 matured. He matured over the years. He had his faith, but would he hold back his anger for the sake of the mission? Well, playing seed ceased. My father eased back in his chair, unclenched his hands, and met. And Matt's branch Ricky's steadily gaze off the com confidence and determination. Ricky asked if he start he could stand the pressure. Would he control his temper against verbal and even physical attacks? Dad didn't want to respond immediately. The same question was on his mind. He wasn't used to backing down when he was a when when attacked. Ricky made it clear to my father that that the first three years would be critical. For the sake of radical equality, he'd have to adopt Noblin's approach to change, my father agreed. Branch Ricky knew that he'd, that he'd chosen the right man. He knew that Dad had both self-control self and courage to succeed. Courage. And my, he and my father shook hands in viral agreements. The noble experiment began. Wow. Play ball. Four months after Dad signed the the more immortal royals, my parents got Montreal. married. My parents got married. They're what? Hmm. They got married. How nice that picture. <laughs> The Reverend Carl Downs the Reverend performed the ceremony on February 10th, 1946, that at the Independent Church of of Christ Christ in a lot a lost Angel Angeles Angeles. My mother, my mother's mother, Z Zealand Islam, was thrilled to, to plan. The extern, entire entire wedding, right down the selecting mom's china silver and crystal, crystal. It was war, war time. So materials was hard to find. Still, Zeely insisted that my mother wear a satin dress. So mom went to Six Fifth Avenue. Found a pair of satin sample wedding dress that had that had a long train. Dad that matched mom's ele intelligence in a sharp pair of formal Elegance. wear, wear and they plead and shared love dreams. Wow. <laughs> Eighteen days later, my parents began the long trek across the country so that dad could port the royal's training camp in state 
Daytona oh, Beach. Daytona Beach, Florida. Where's Ricky? R Ricky had broken his own rule about not having wives in, in spring training and invited my mother to join Dad. When Dad and Mom arrived in New in New Orleans, they were forced to give up their seats on the plane, and they were bumped. And they were bumped from from. The next two flights to add in the humilia humiliation, they quickly discovered that that because they were now in the heart of the South and they couldn't eat in the coffee shop. How can you eat in a coffee shop? They just sell coffee. They couldn't eat there, honey, because they were black, and in the South they were much more segregated. They can't drink there. It's a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Still. Yeah, they had to give up their seat. In Luckily, the too. you can stop. Luckily, Mally and at Southern Southerner had anticipated and anticipated trouble and had packed my parents at lunch. Twelve hours later, Mom and Dad flew from New Orleans to Pensacola, where they took a segregated bus to ten Daytona Beach. Florida, it was a rough start, it, and shades of things to come. My father joined the, the black picture, Johnny Wrights, and 200 white players for the Royals plaque practice. Eager newspaper reporters from News, New York, Pittsburgh, and Baltimore, Baltimore, Montreal, and Montreal Brooklyn. and Bo Brooklyn, fired questions to the at the two black men, what are you doing if your pitcher start throwing at you? Duck, dad, joined, dad, dad joked. Would you like to play for the Dodgers? Do you think you're good enough to play for the Brooklyn now? Dad answered confidently. He told the reporters that he had played with, with white players before and he sure to make it through the major leagues on the Brooklyn Dodgers team. After practice, all the white players went to Mayfair Hotel. My parents, Johnny Wright, and black sport writers, Billy Brown, and, and parents, Johnny Wright, and black sports, Billy, Billy Brown, and Wendell Smith, were housed in a black community, either in a motel or a private home. They ate their meals in a black restaurant, stowed dad. Though dad and mom were inseparable. Good job. The day after they arrived. Day after day arrived, the Royals traveled south to Sanford, Florida for a week of spring training. As it turned out, Sanford was less welcoming than than the Dan Daytona, Daytona Beach. Beach. A few days into training, Wendell Smith and Billy Rowell rushed my parents and Johnny Wright out of town because they were there that and violence. JJ Dad said he wondered if the same thing would happen in the next town. The Royals moved their practice back to Daytona Beach and had no further problems until they played the games in Jacksonville, Zealand, and Florida. The the Royals front front office finally had to switch their remaining games back to Daytona Beach. During games, proud proud black fans crowded to into Jimmy Crow. Jim Crow or segregated section of the stands of white curious white white fans filled his remaining seats. On the field the Royals, Blacks players and white players worked on as a team. When they when the game ended they returned into into their separate worlds. As as a su successful spring training, the Ingrated Montreal Royals took the field of at Roosevelt Stadium in Jersey City, in New Jersey, for the start of of the nineteen forty six section season. Season opening day was April fourth, fourteenth, nineteen forty six. There were thirty five thousand thirty five thousand excited fans in attendance. in attendance because school was closed. There were a lot of kids in the, in the stands. It was a clear, sunny, brisk day, more football kind than the day of baseball. Venators sold coffee to help 
the crowd warm. The mood was electric, and the mayor parts on the field with cele celebrities and players from the sing singing the Surf Spangled Banner. Dad hit a home run in the third inning, and two men went on single three times and stole two bases. Marangol won the game 14 to 1. The fans. Montreal. The fans. Mobbed Dad afterward, asking for autographs and wishing him well. After the Jersey City opener, the Royals headed to Montreal, Canada. My parents were, were pleased, surprised, pleasantly were surprised. pleasantly surprised, and friendless shown by, by the warm, by the warm, the French Canadians. Canadians. While Dad's teammates grew to appreciate to appreciate his what contribution his contribution to the team, they annoyed him off the team. For a couple of months with the Dodgers, Dad stayed to himself with with one of the black sport sports writers. writers. He 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 said he felt lo loneliness. Most when the team traveled by June, however, things had changed. The team warmed up to my father on train rides. They invited him to join to join him into card games. Eventually, Dad felt more joking, comfortable, more comfortable joking around with other players. I can't read that. <laughs> I don't understand. That's a historical document, it looks like, understand. from the Brooklyn Dodgers. In I don't script, understand. In cursive, right? I don't understand this new language. <laughs> it's very small, too. Wow, fan reaction may have been Wow, mi fan reaction. May have been mixed, but there was nothing ambitious about mad supporters. Ambiguous. Am ambiguous. So while fan reactions may have been mixed, there was but nothing. There was nothing ambiguous blah, blah, blah. about the support of Brooklyn fans from the African American communities across the country. They loved my dad. Black families traveled long distance distances to go to ballparks and see him play. They gathered around ra radios at the neighbors' homes to cheer on dad. Sports writer Sam Luke. Lacey once wrote, no matter what the nature of gathering, a horse race, a church meeting, a ball game, uh, uh, the universal question is, how how Jackie make out today? My parents, was and Jackie's junior, settled into a small home in Brooklyn, Brooklyn surrounded by a community that embraced them. They, there they met long, long li lifelong friends. And as baseball season progressed, mom became friendly with a couple of Dodgers supposes, such as, such as Gil Hose's wife, Hodges. wife, John and Pee Wee's rescue wife, Johnny. About a month into 1947 season, Dodgers were in. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. What? Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> play, playing the Reds. They the mood the mood in the stadium was tense. Some of the fans started yelling at the Dodger campaign camp, captain and Pee Wee Rents, telling Reese. telling him that as as a southerner he shouldn't be playing ball with the black men. Reese heard Reese heard the shouting but refused to even glance at the direction of the stands. Instead, he walked over to my dad on first place, praise, base. Reese put his hand on my father's shoulder and started talking to him. His words weren't important. In fact, afterward, neither neither man remembered what he said. It was the, the gesture of Jester. the gesture of comradeship and support that that counted. As the two teammates stood talking, the fans got the message. They stopped heckling and settled down to watch the game. From that day forward, Pee Wee and my dad were friends. They stopped heckling and settled to watch the game. And they worked. And they worked well as teammates for together many as years. As teammates for many years. Yeah.
That's them stretching. <laughs> They don't like it. They don't like it at all. So historical pictures. By the time, by the time I was five, Dad had been playing with the Brooklyn Dodgers for ten years. Four. Good. During that time, he helped the team reach the World Series six times. Wow. In 1949, he had he held the league in battling with batting, with batting with a. Uh, Thirty point three four two with the with the average three point two average and received the National League's most valuable player award. From that, Dad ranked fourth in the majors in a battling average, seconds in the scored, and first in stolen bases. A, a nearly of. 505,000 career at bats, 5, 51%, 51 were, were from the cleanup slots. The 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers had the best season. After yearly disappointments of losing the world championship to the New York Yankees, the Dodgers and my dad won the World Series. Wait till next year. Their animal mantra era finally meant victory. Wow. Exciting. Dad, Dad engaged his Dodgers Exchanged. in his stage uniform for a cor corporate suit and tie for the winter of 1957. He became vice president and political for the... Of a person of personnel for Chalk. For Chalk. Full of nuts. nuts. Like lots of other fathers in San Four, Dad left home each morning at 8 and returned most nights by 6. Not being on the road meant he had to give emotional speeches, write to newspaper columns, and raise money for civil rights organizations, join process mar marches, speak to young use youth groups, play golf, and cut the lawn. Dad also uh, agreed to chair the National Association for, for the chairman. He traveled around the... Advancement of Colored People Freedom Fund Drive. As the NAACP... Chairman. Chairman. He traveled around the country raising money for the national, the national, the nation's oldest civil rights organization. The first year of his tour, he helped to raise more than one million dollars. Dad joined a group of investigators uh, and a community activists activists to bring the first black run the bank to Harmon in New York City. They felt that a uh, minority owned a uh, uh, minority owned and operated bank was the only way to help rebuild the Harlem's predominantly predominantly black community. On January fourth, nineteen sixty five, Freedom National Bank opened on one uh, one hundred and twenty fifth Street. Street. Wow, that's exciting. During the 1960s, Dad wore many different hats. Different hats wore many different hats and faced many new challenges. The biggest challenge was his health. Shortly after he retired from baseball, Dad found out he was diabetic. His health problems became more and more serious. Dad was only in and for. 40s when he had his first heart attack his by his late 40s his diet his diabetes uh, left him partially 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 blind still the last seven years of my dad's life were filled with politics businesses family friends and golf during that time i'm i married attended howard university Co college of nursing my brother david completed high school at mt Herman, Massachusetts, and went off to college at Stanford University. Mom, mom taught in nurse, nursing at Valid Yale. Yale University. My older brother, Jackie, fought in Vietnam. Vietnam. Received a, 
received a Purple Heart and then died tragically in a car accident when he was only 24. Mm -hmm. Despite our shock and pain of losing our beloved Jackie, we we railed as a family and we rallied as a family and turned out and turned out to be our last year of dad. And the year of 1972, I was, I was also a, the 25th anniversary of dad breaking the, the color barrier. In addition to a special time together as a family, we celebrated dad receiving no, a number of tributes. The final one took the, uh, place in October 15th, 1972. 15th, 1972. Dad threw out the first ceremonial pitch during the second game of the World Series in Cincinnati, o- Ohio. A, r- a record a record crowd in the attendance and estimates 600 million, 60 million, 60 million people watch the ceremony on television. All Mayor League baseball teams are now an outfield in black, white, and or Hispanic players. But the disability stopped there. There was no non white exclusive managers, managers, or general or general managers in professional baseball. So dad felt it was important that, that he used his last public address to remind us all all that equality was an annoying struggle. I am extremely proud and pleased, Dad said for the World Series speech. But I'm going to be more pleased and more proud when I look in that third base coaching line one day and see the black faced nagging in baseball. In addition to many achievements in sport, sports, my father was a was awarded the highest honors from civil and human rights coordinations with religious groups and the United States government from from the blah 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 segregation medal to the nation's highest civilization award the president's medal of freedom my father's accomplishments on off the fields have been wisely reckoned dad spent his entire life fighting for for equality he won some battles and lost others he made some mistakes but he also inspired millions my father never lost hope or gave in des and and gave in to desperate when by himself failed to him and once he said a life is not important except for the impact on other lives dad lived his facility philosophy he lived his philosophy. Good job, honey. You can end there. That's a good, it's a great job reading. Such a challenging book. Please show the cover. Promises to keep. Awesome. Thank you for reading. Bye bye. Bye.